Today I'm going to walk you through how you can create thumbnails like this that you can use for intros or transitions or outros. So if you want to learn how, stick around, I'll show you. Hey everybody, what's happening? Claudio here and welcome to my channel where I share tips, tools, and tricks to help you share your story. If this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by and for my returning guests, thank you too as well. As I mentioned at the beginning, I'm going to walk you through how to create some thumbnails that you can use for intros, transitions, or outros in your videos. And we're going to be using Adobe Spark Post to create that and then I'll jump in in Adobe Rush and kind of show you what you can do with those thumbnails. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So I went ahead and launched Adobe Spark post here and I'm going to create a custom size graphic here. Now, because I'm going to be using this for my video, I'm typing in 1920 by 1080. So if you have a different size video, if it's vertical or if it's 2K, 4K, just adjust for your size. I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And then I'm going to upload an image here. I'm going to add an image and I have one here that I've taken a while back and this is going to be for my kind of overlay now you can choose to pin to the background or move freely in this case I want to move freely because I want to have more control over where that image will be placed so now that I've got the image here I'm going to go ahead and stretch that out to fill the whole screen there we go let's make sure those bars aren't there just a little bit more so I've kind of got it where I want it to be now the next thing is I'm going to add like a box overlay that's going to be used for my title or for my transition. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the plus sign and add text and create my own. So let's say I'm creating a series of videos. So let's say intro, uh, introduction to video and let's click on done. That is my first kind of title part. Now what I'll do here is going to get rid of that box in the background. So I'll click on shape there and I'm going to choose the color white and just kind of speed things up here. I'm going to duplicate that text and let's say that this is kind of the part one. So let's go ahead and say this is part one, or let's say it's just like the um, getting started. So this is going to be kind of like my uh, kind of maybe chapter one for my video. So what I'll do here is I'll select both of these, click uh, shift and select them both and then group them. So that way they move together. And now the next thing I'll do is maybe create a box around that. So let's go ahead and choose add and let's go to icon and we'll choose rectangle. And let's go ahead and pick this one here. Doesn't matter what the color is. So we're going to kind of create kind of a middle third here. And let's adjust the order up to too much. We need that brought up. There we go. Um, and I'm not going to use that uh, orange color. So let's go ahead and swap that out. Let's say I'm going to use like uh, maybe that color there. And then let's we'll click on our text and we can adjust the text a bit. And now what I'll do is kind of create a separation between the two words there or two phrases. And I'll do that by adding a line here. So let's go to line. So what you want to do is search through all the different types of lines here. Let's go ahead and try that one there. And I'll go ahead and rotate this and we're going to bring it kind of underneath that and maybe let's stretch it out and if it looks too thick what you can do is always go back and replace the line for a different one so let's kind of go through here and see if we can find a thinner one which i think we did let's go ahead and try that one that'll work and then because we want that one to match the text we're going to make that white and then we'll go ahead and let's click out and select our, we're going to actually adjust that. So that way I click on text, there we go. And we'll move the text a bit. Now I went ahead and left some space there on the left. So what I can do there is kind of add my logo. So I'm going to go ahead and click the plus sign and choose logo and maybe I'll drop that logo there. 
We'll move that right about there. Let's resize it a bit. Cool. So I'm going to do a little bit of adjusting here with that text because I think it's a little too close. So let's click that one there and we'll move it up just a bit and let's move this one down and then we'll go ahead and shift click and let's group those back up. There we go. And now what I want to do is on the box in the background, I'm going to adjust it somewhat. It's I want to leave a little bit of transparency showing. So what I'll do here is click on the box and then go to the opacity. And you notice now I've made it a little bit transparent. I can go all the way, but we want to leave a little color and pretty much that's it. And now what I'll do is click on download and choose PNG or JPEG. Go ahead and download as a solid PNG because I want my whole image here and then we'll go and download it. Now that I have this done here, I'm going to go ahead and go back to projects and I'll show you a little trick here is here is my project. I'm going to actually duplicate it. So I have a copy of the original still there and I'll take this copy and alter it some because I want to show you a little trick here that we can do. So I'll go ahead and jump in now and edit the original one. I should say edit the copy and we're going to make a little bit of adjustment here this picture we're going to actually use as that bar there. So what I'll do here is let's click on this picture and we're going to crop. We're going to choose crop and then we're going to bring this down here and notice that right there, we're going to bring the bottom one up. You see the original box there and we can always adjust this image. Let's bring it down some and click out. And now what I'll do is get rid of that green box there. And now I have my image there as the overlay. So now here the trick is, um, is just basically now go ahead and download. And instead of solid, what you want to do is a transparent PNG. What that will do is just um, export this as 1920 by 1080, but just have that middle bar showing. So. We'll jump into Adobe Rush now and show you how you can use these as intros or overlays. So now that I have this project opened up in Adobe Rush, I'm going to add those two overlays. So let's go ahead and click on the plus sign. Let's choose media. Let's go ahead and go to our downloads folder, which we should find them. So here we have the first one here, and then we have the second one there. So let's click add. And now Adobe Rush is going to add those as overlay. So let's go ahead and now show you how I can use these as intros or just add them as overlay. So the first one, let's drop right in front of the video and let's minimize, or I should say shorten the length of that. And we're going to go ahead and resize that. Let's go ahead and let's take this. There we go. So now when I hit play, that's the intro. Actually, what I'll do here before I hit play, let's do a transition as uh, let's go. Let's go cross this off, see how it works. And there it is. So there is the intro, I would say screen, or if you don't want to have a transition, let's just remove the transition and let's just do a straight jump cut. Let's make it just a bit longer. So this will be kind of like the intro to the video, hit play and then it jumps into the video. So now the second overlay that I created was the transparent option. So now what I'll do is show you, let's go ahead and drop that on top. So let's say, and let's do this here. There is that overlay. Um, I used the same picture, so it kind of would have made sense to use a color here. So uh, well, let me do this now and let's increase the size kind of looks weird. Let's see if we can just use this over here somewhere else and show you. There it is. So you can kind of see um, probably a bad example because I have the same kind of picture in picture there. But as you can see, that right there is the overlay and I click on it. As you can see, it is 1920 by 1080. I just went ahead and increased the size and you can, again, you can use this as an intro overlay or as kind of a transition. So let's maybe why don't we do this? Let's drop this in between. So let's see how it looks. Maybe create the, let's do a dip to black and see what it looks like. So let's say this was our intro here, part one. 
and it played and then we're going to jump into the next part and then there we go so again you have the options of what you can do with these overlays creating them in adobe spark adding a photo into that kind of middle overlay or as completely background and add some color boxes so you have all these different ways that you can create these overlays and then drop them into adobe rush hopefully this video was helpful something that you can use as you create those videos and share your stories let me know what you thought about this video if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comment section below don't forget hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so don't forget click on the little bell to be notified for future videos and as always thank you for stopping by and watching this video be good to one another peace